Hi there, Joker here and in this video I'm gonna show you some butterfly shaped cards that I made just for fun. Um, I'm using some of the products from uh, BB's Butterflies collection from last year and I'm also using this new Simon Hurley uh, flower that just came out and uh, yeah uh, in the other video I'm using the rest of the stuff that I actually now edited out. <laughs> Um, so I'm starting out by creating butterfly shaped cards. It's very simple. Um, you just fold the cardstock. Well, I have to, as you see, I have to trim off some, <laughs> some things because um, the cardstock is very heavy weight. So die cutting two layers is a bit hard. Um, but basically you just don't die cut the top of it. So um, the back and the front are connected at the top then i die cut a bunch of flowers and i actually die cut too many for my purposes which is why i ended up with so many cards i generally prefer to create less cards so i, I don't like to create the same cards multiple times but i also did not want to throw away any die cuts that I worked so hard on <laughs> so I die cut uh, the same flower uh, flowers from a variety of colors um, eggplant blue and um, I think uh, pinkish and then I'm going to actually do something that I never really do um, because there was a stencil in this collection and so I pulled out two color inks and my little spa binders blending brushes that I've never used before um, and this was supposed to be a mustard color but it really isn't um, maybe with time it's gonna turn a bit darker I don't know but it, it yeah this was the closest to mustard that I, I have um, I do actually have all the all the alt new and all the um, pink fresh colors but well this was the best i could get and then my favorite purple is actually this regal kiss from pink fresh um because it's this plum or eggplant kind of uh, purple color mm -hmm. so when i go in that direction i always use this ink and this is super simple uh, i did not do any kind of you know shading or anything i just covered the whole um butterfly with ink just added a bit more ink in the middle that's it and then i'm um folding it uh, in half and i'm um going to glue down just the right side uh, of the butterfly because i'm going to add the flowers on that side and I wanted to have some movement on the left side, so I'm not attaching that um, flap or wing um, on that side. And then I'm just going to add two of these flowers and a bunch of um, leaves. And that's actually pretty much what I'm going to do with all six cards. The only thing that's going to be different is um, how I go about the card front but the i mean the flower the placement of the flowers is going to be the same i guess i didn't really want to think that much that day <laughs> i was just um i don't know just uh you know not thinking and just uh, going ahead and trying to create some projects it's how it happens sometimes you know when I do like these mindless tasks, you know, when you don't have to think, you're just creating something. And also colors, colors make me so happy. So um, whenever I am around color cardstock, <laughs> it's, uh, it's a happy day. Um, in fact, today I received some new color cardstock and I was so disappointed <laughs> because... Um, some of the colors look completely different than they looked online and this it can happen but it it's not it's not usual that it happens to me and uh but they are so off so so off i would never have bought those card stocks and some of them i bought five off so it's not fun but i'm gonna i'm gonna make them work <laughs> 
Um, the next batch, I die cut some uh, craft cardstock and I'm adding um, some white embossed sentiments to these. And um, so I basically I made two of these as well. And it's just the same kind of uh, design, the card I mean, as the previous ones. I'm just going to add this to the um, card base and then flowers on top and that's it. And while I'm uh, at it, I'm also going to emboss the other four sentiments for the other four cards. And these are just going to be simple sentiment strips. Um, and I will use gold embossing powder for this. And by the way, I mean, this is my favorite gold embossing powder. It's called uh, Gold Rich Pale from Wow Embossing. And now that I was at the Creativation show, I actually... Creativation? No, that is another show. Creative World. <laughs> um, and I actually saw a new gold, but I don't remember the name of it. A new gold that is so gorgeous, I have to have it. Um, it also comes in silver, but silver is not my color, so I do need the gold though. Um, okay, so this is what I said, and I'm going to just kind of add dimension to the left with my hand. I kind of uh, rub the paper in a way that I uh, bend it upwards, you know, but just carefully so that it doesn't break or that it doesn't have these, uh, you know, tear lines or anything. Um, and then I'm placing the flowers exactly the same way as I did on my uh, purple yellow cards. And then I'm go going to move on to my last um, set that will be with the blue um, flowers and for this I'm using two of these gorgeous 3d embossing folders and I'm embossing just half of the butterfly just to add some texture and um, well, actually these are one of them is the my favorite floral this one it's so pretty and the other one is just a uh, a geometric uh, background that I thought would look good with uh, flowers and again I'm only gluing down the right side and then layer the flowers on top and that's it and I'm uh, just going to add some uh, sentiment and by the way um, if the video is too fast for you I know that you can slow it down on YouTube I can't slow, I don't want to slow it down because then uh, the videos are going to be way too um, long and also it will take me a lot longer to edit them. So um, if you want to, to, to watch it slower, you can um, slow it down, but then I guess you should turn off the audio <laughs> uh, because I'm not a very, f well, generally I don't speak very fast. so. Um, okay, so here are the um, ready cards and basically they are the same. They would be easy to mass produce. The only thing that takes time uh, is the die cutting. But as you see, the flowers themselves are also not a lot of pieces. So it's easy to die cut and it's also easy to assemble quick as well. So this technically would be uh, one project that you can mass produce. It's not something I usually do, but um, here's an example Example for that. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you check out the other butterfly um, video as well that I have on my channel. Um, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.